So for the second home game of the week, we welcome Sunderland to the Bet365 Stadium after what was, I'd say, an undeserved draw in midweek. Borough absolutely played us off the park on Wednesday and I'd say fully deserved the three points. We weren't at the races at all and we got out of jail with that late DiMaggio Wright Phillips equaliser. We fought right to the very end, which hopefully we can put into good use today against Sunderland, who were on a little bit of a roll. Ben Wilmot's potentially out with a foot injury and Liam Delap is in course to make his debut after signing on Thursday, which it could be a complete it could be a complete season changer that signing could. Would I want him to start? Well, we sort of know what Sunderland have got. They've got Danny Bart at the back, um, who's obviously quite a physical player. So it could be a good matchup between him and Danny Bart, to be fair. I don't I don't want him to become um, the sort of player we start lumping it up to. Uh, we've got to play through the middle, which is what we did really well for both goals uh, on Wednesday night. Especially that equaliser, it was a really nice pattern to play, to be fair. Score prediction today, I'm going one all. I think Jacob Brown will get the goal for us today. Without further ado, let's get into the ground. Come on, Stoke. Team News is out, two changes from the draw in midweek. Klukas drops out for Kilkenny, who comes in, makes his first full league start. And the big talking point today, Liam Delap makes his first. Stoke City start, makes his debut today in place of Dwight Gale, who was withdrawn with a hamstring scare in midweek. So yeah, still second one all. Come on, Stoke. <laughs> Yeah, 
be a right for it, then Schwinger from Slowbone. Taylor goes for it. He falls, it's, the ball falls back to the uh, back stick area on the right. Sunderland. I think very much an improvement from uh, Middlesbrough the other night. We seem to be zipping the ball about with some real tempo which was actually really good in the first 20 minutes. We really should have scored. The lap had a chance. Difficult for him to put that one away. Brown got round the keeper, Patterson. He probably should have squared that but we worked it back and we sort of lost the threat from there. Baker's had his two free kicks. We've had a couple of corners which we failed to convert. The goal, I'm sure Joe Bursic will know he could have done better. Stewart didn't hit it complete, clean completely. Really disappointed to see him getting behind. Um, you know, we should really be a little bit tighter there. Sunderland haven't had a lot. They've had a, a shot from Sims, which hit the side net, and then a, the Matese effort that went over in a couple of corners, that's about it. Uh, but we've had the majority of the chances. Really should be putting them away, though. I sound like a broken record, we don't take our chances. It was like that against um, it was like that against Huddersfield last week. I'd take a draw. Um, but yeah, with the chances we've had, we should be winning today. Come on, so. Receiving it 
half right Phillips, he's giving it straight back to him. Mm -hmm. He takes a touch, tries to beat Embleton, he's going to try and use a nice one too with Thompson to beat him. Embleton's still there. Thompson falling, only headed away by Corey Evans, out to the throw on the far side. Coming out the ground, another defeat. Um, where to start? Where to start? Thought the referee had very little control over the game in general. Um, dishing out cards, you know, Delap and Brown, you know, just. 50-50s pretty much getting booked for him. Then you've got Pritchard that did a lot of things throughout and it took to, till midway through the second half for him to get carded. Defensively, really poor for the goal. Ball watching. Bursic could have got a hand to it but didn't look himself today at all. A couple of mistakes uh, throughout the game. Um, I was really, really impressed with the lap though. I, I'm, I must be honest. We looked really good going forward early on in this first half. Um, we really should have put a chance away though. Um, I think that's ultimately what cost us. The referee <laughs> it didn't help. Uh, I thought he was really poor. Um, but yeah. Performance was much better than Middlesbrough in midweek, but the, the boos seem to be getting louder. Um, you know, we sit 21st in the league now. Very, very worrying. Hopefully, with this full week of training, we can work on some stuff, work on. You know, getting a bit more fluidity into the team, get the lap int integrated properly, as well as Tariq Fosu. Let's hope it improves for Blackburn because this could be a very worrying season. Go on, Stowe.